Hi guys and welcome to my channel Chest Medicine Made Easy. Today we'll be talking about arterial blood gas analysis or in short ABG analysis. When we talk about acidity or alkalinity that is a reference to the pH. pH is a measure of the H plus ion concentration in a solution. The normal human blood pH is 7.4 pH is defined as minus log of the concentration of H+. Please note that the pH is a negative logarithmic function and that means when the pH reduces by a value of 1, there is an increase in the concentration of H plus ion by 10 folds. Let's look at the factors affecting pH of blood. There is a respiratory factor and there is a metabolic factor. The respiratory factor is carbon dioxide and the metabolic factor is bicarbonate. If you would recall from your basic chemistry classes, as carbon dioxide dissolves in water, it forms H2CO3 and that is carbonic acid. So the higher the CO2 content, the higher the acidity. When the acid content in blood increases by something like a lactic acid or a keto acid or a sulfuric acid, the HCO3 level falls. Thus, when the acidity increases, the HCO3 level falls and when the acidity reduces, the HCO3 level increases. So let us review the factors again. There are respiratory factor and there is a metabolic factor. The respiratory factor is carbon dioxide and the metabolic factor is bicarbonate. So as the carbon dioxide increases, that is called a respiratory acidosis and when the carbon dioxide level falls, it is called a respiratory alkalosis. When the bicarbonate level increases, it is a metabolic alkalosis and when the bicarbonate level falls, it is a metabolic acidosis. Let us look at the normal values of human blood. The normal human blood pH is 7.4 and can range between 7.35 to 7.45. The normal partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 40 millimeters of mercury and can range between 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. The normal partial pressure of oxygen is 85 to 105 millimeters of mercury. We will talk about the meaning of partial pressures in a later video. The normal level of bicarbonate is 24 plus or minus 2 milliequivalents per liter, that is 22 to 26 milliequivalents per liter. As you surely know, if the pH is less than 7.35, it is considered to be acidic and if the pH is more than 7.45, it is alkaline. When the PCO2 is more than 45, it is a respiratory acidosis and when the PCO2 is less than 35, it is a respiratory alkalosis. When the bicarbonate is less than 22, it is a metabolic acidosis. When the bicarbonate is more than 26, it is a metabolic alkalosis. So let's go through the steps of ABG interpretation. Step 1. Look at the pH. Is it acidic, normal or alkaline? We will go through a few examples to make it clear. The normal value of the pH is left up on the top of the screen. The first pH is 7.1. Is it acidic, normal or alkaline? It is less than 7.35 and therefore it is acidic. The second pH is 7.25. Is it acidic, normal or alkaline? It is acidic. The third pH is 7.48.
you would note that it is more than 7.45. So this is an alkaline pH. The next pH is 7.42. You would notice that this is within the normal range, so this is a normal pH. The last pH for this exercise is 7.58. And it should be clear that this is an alkaline pH. Step 2. If the pH is abnormal, what caused it? Now recall that when the carbon dioxide level increases, it is a respiratory acidosis. When the carbon dioxide level falls, it is a respiratory alkalosis. When the bicarbonate level increases, it is a metabolic alkalosis. And when the bicarbonate level falls, it is a metabolic acidosis. So let us look at an example. The pH is 7.1, the PCO2 is 80 millimeters of mercury and the bicarbonate is 30 milliequivalents per liter. Step 1. Is it acidic, normal or alkaline? Look at the pH. This is an acidic pH. Step 2. Look at the PCO2 and the bicarbonate levels. You would note that they are both high. Recall that when the PCO2 increases, it is called a respiratory acidosis and when the bicarbonate level increases, it is a metabolic alkalosis. So in this case, the acidity is caused by the increase in the carbon dioxide. If you have trouble following, let us look at a pictorial representation. You can see that the pH and carbon dioxide both fall on the acidic side, whereas the bicarbonate falls on the alkaline side. So here, the acidity is caused by the carbon dioxide levels. We will discuss why the bicarbonate level increased in subsequent videos. But for this case, this is a respiratory acidosis. Example 2. The pH is 7.5, the PCO2 is 20 millimeters of mercury and the bicarbonate is 20 milliequivalents per liter. Step 1. Is the pH acidic, alkaline or normal? It is alkaline. Step 2. Look at the carbon dioxide and the bicarbonate. They are both low. So let's look at it pictorially. You can see that the pH falls on the alkaline side, the PCO2 falls on the alkaline side, and the bicarbonate falls on the acidic side. So the alkalinity in this case is caused by the respiratory component. So this is a respiratory alkalosis. Let us look at example three. The pH here is 7.18, the PCO2 20 millimeters of mercury and the bicarbonate 10 milliequivalents per liter. Step 1. Is it acidic or alkaline? I'm sure you, are, you would have noted by now that this is an acidic pH. Step 2. Look at the PCO2 and the bicarbonate levels. They are both low. If you would recall, a low PCO2 causes alkalosis, whereas a low bicarbonate causes acidosis. So the acidity here is caused by the low bicarbonate. And therefore, this is a metabolic acidosis. Let us look at example 4. pH 7.56, PCO2 46 millimeters of mercury and bicarbonate 32 milliequivalents per liter. Step 1. Is it acidic or alkaline? It should be clear that this is alkaline pH. Step 2. Look at the carbon dioxide and bicarbonate. 
they are both high. If you look at the pictorial representation, you would note that the pH is on the alkaline side, the high PCO2 is on the acidic side and the bicarbonate is on the alkaline side. So the alkalinity here is caused by the increase in bicarbonate and therefore this is a metabolic alkalosis. Now the numbers for these examples have been made up by me but let us look at some real life cases. Now when you see an ABG report people tend to be overwhelmed by the number of values given especially if they're new to ABG. The trick is to focus only on the needed values and approach it step by step. So let's get to it. What is the pH here? 7.31 Is it acidic or alkaline? It is acidic. What is the PCO2 and bicarbonate levels? PCO2 is 72.2 and bicarbonate is 35.0. What do you think caused the acidosis in this case? If you would recall, you can see that the carbon dioxide has increased and the bicarbonate has increased. So this is a respiratory acidosis. Let us look at another example. The pH here is 7.49, the PCO2 is 30.8 and the bicarbonate is 23.1. Step 1. Is it an acidosis or alkalosis? It should be clear by now that this is an alkalosis. Step 2. Is it respiratory or metabolic? If you would note, the carbon dioxide is low, whereas the bicarbonate is normal. So the carbon dioxide falls on the alkaline side of the spectrum. So this is a respiratory alkalosis. Example 3. The pH here is 7.524, the PCO2 is 35.6 and the bicarbonate is 29.3. Step 1, it is alkaline and the step 2, it is metabolic. So this is a case of metabolic alkalosis. We will stop for now. If you are new to ABG, please stop now and take a break before proceeding further. In subsequent videos, we will discuss compensation and more advanced techniques in ABG interpretation. We'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.